you're coming in the room, welcome, welcome. I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the Mother of Twins, helping you along this twin flame journey. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to give you guys a moment to get in here because we're going to, um, I want to talk to you about some several things, not several things, one thing in particular. Um, those of you who are on the, what you call a twin flame journey, what you believe to be a twin flame journey. And I'm also, um, we're going to do some activation, some light language activations for you guys tonight. Okay. So thank you so much for being here. It's very nice to see you tonight as you guys are coming in the room. Let me just get myself together. Um, the energy is good. I mean, you know, you're probably being guided to get some rest, drink lots of water. You're being guided to see yourself pause more in a more positive light. You're being guided to obviously let go of things that weigh you down, drag you down, confuse you, uh, all that. Hi, Rolanda. So we're going to talk. I want to I want to just present something to you tonight. Um, it's not up for debate. I want to share. I'm just going to put it in your lap and let you digest it. You might have heard it, heard this said. You might have heard it in different ways, put in different ways. But um, I believe it's worth sharing. I had a, um, a interesting conversation and, and that is what I want to use as a basis for tonight. They're grooming you is what is what I'm saying. And when I say they, I am talking about your twin flame, your person that you have been going through all these changes with. And, and if you think about it, you didn't even start going through these kind of changes until you met this person. So that is the, that is the basis of what we're going to be talking about. So hello, hello, Steph. I don't know why I thought your name was going to be Steven. For some reason, I thought I was saying hi to a Steven. So if Steven uh, does show up on here, I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's going to be a Steven here tonight for the first time. If this is your first time watching, thank you so much for being here. It's going to be um, a very interesting talk. And then, like I said, I want to do a light language activation before we get off and um, uh, to open your 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 listening ears, because that's another part of the message. It's that we resist what we're hearing. Um, I did a video about stop doubting your into or stop doubting the synchronicities, but we resist what we're hearing because it's and it's due to traumas. It's due to those unhealed areas. And, and God is like steady speaking and saying, hey, hey, it's what is this? But it, when, when you've been so hurt or so wounded by who should be your divine counterpart and who is your divine counterpart, um, it's it's hard to hear all that love stuff. It's hard to hear all that woo, 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 especially when you're like, I am so done. And and also with the stuff that's going on around, um, you know, what you're being told. Like if you really cared about yourself, you really had self-respect, you do this and that and that and this and this. And so it's just a lot of, of information out here and that's why we're always told to go within and follow our hearts so i'm getting ready to get started because we're in here and we're going to get started they are grooming you i want to suggest something to you and you put it in your pipe and smoke it your divine counterpart your twin flame your divine masculine divine feminine take it as it resonates um i am most thank you spirit just said no i need to say it like this Divine feminine, if you resonate as a divine feminine, your divine masculine energy already knows who you are. They came into this connection already knowing who you were, okay? Just listen. Before you refute what I'm saying, listen and listen with your heart, okay? If you think back, some of you are going to be thinking back right now. You can even say, yep, I, I, I agree with that. If you, if you don't agree with that now, it's okay. Keep living, keep going along this path and you'll see what I'm talking about. But not everybody, but the majority of us are divine masculine. Your divine masculine already knew who you were once you came into union or, or reunion. Meaning the time that you met, the moment that you met again in this, in this lifetime, in this really, whether it was at a barbecue, whether it was in passing at the grocery store or whatever. But when you lock eyes, your souls recognize one another. And that is actually reunion. You, that is literally the beginning and watch this. And it is the end. What I mean by that is once you have met and locked eyes and did whatever else it was you did, then begins the 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 stuff. It is the, everything starts to come to the surface. There is a slight honeymoon phase, a, a, a honeymoon phase where everything is like dreamy, and this is what what puts you on the journey. This is what it's like. It reels you in. It's not a trick. It's not deception. It's simply your soul recognizing itself and opening you up to more love. Okay. If you have not followed me as a creator, you're wrong. Please follow me as a creator. Thank you. But um, 
and share the live because this is good. This is good news. So when you are, when you have met and then you start all that stuff with the ghosting and the unblocking and they did this and they got that over there and they don't want me and I'm going to feel like a fool and maybe they're a narcissist and all, all of those, all of that stuff, believe it or not, is part of the journey. How else would you heal? How else would you would you start to allow yourself to be broken? What see what I'm saying? What tool would you have used in your higher self? What would you have used if you were God? What tool would you have used to get you to where you are right now today? You know what I mean? What some of you, it's your children acting out. It's for some of you, it is your your parents, and you just finally decide to let your parents, your whole family. Blood doesn't matter. I hear somebody saying blood doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? So what tool would you have used? My point is. You, what the love situation, the love thing, because I'm thinking about, that's why I start to stammer because I'm seeing or remembering the roomy deck and in the roomy deck, he has all these, these seekers that are trying to find the divine and find, you know, find the meaning of life. And roomy tells them, uh, have you ever been in love with a woman? This is what roomy says, the poet, look him up. Are you in my, and, and he says, nah, he says, go fall in love first. And then come back and we'll talk about how to find God. Y'all understand that? Go fall in love first and then we'll talk about how to find God. For those of you who were, were been praying about your person and God send me this. And you you know, when you're singles, you talk to have that list of what you want and all that kind of stuff. If you think about it that way, divine masculine has been grooming you through the things that you, the trials and tribulations and even the good times and the bad times, right? Grooming you. To become that wife, that partner, that spouse, that help me, that person that you actually want to fall in love with. It's you. Okay. And so when they act out everything they've done, it brings you to this place. And if you could see it from that mindset, if you could see it through those spiritual eyes, hear what I'm saying through your spiritual ears and not the pain of the past and the traumas that we're still overcoming and working through because we never throw it all away. We just simply, we manage it better. We manage the things we went through because those things that we go through actually are what creates the person that we are today. It, it molds us. So your divine masculine has been grooming you and they have been watching. That's why they say they watch and they, they stalk and we make it so many things. And it's like we run from the very thing we want because this connection that you're in is so very significant that it will, it does feel like it'll kill you because it does. It's called an ego death. That's why you always feel like you're dying in it. And that's why you feel like when you are apart from them, you are dying. And when you are with them, you are dying because you want to be with them even more. It's But but you want each other. That's the mag magnetic attraction. That's all purpose. That's all ordained for you, preordained even. So they're grooming you through the ghosting. They're grooming you. And this is not saying that you got to stand there and take all that punishment because punishment is what you think it is. But if you see it through these eyes, through the eyes of faith and through a heart of love, then you will understand that they know who you are. And if you would admit to yourself, if you would admit honestly to yourself, there were many years that you were walking around not knowing who you really were. And the way you know that that is true, it's indicative of the partners that you picked. Because remember, we, are, we only pick ourselves. We only attract who and what we are. We only attract who and what we are. And the moment we can even understand that much, then we are, we are so in this thing for real. And we can spare ourselves so much heartache and see, and we can spare ourselves so much frustration from the so-called waiting. Why won't they do that? Why do I have to wait? Well, you're not waiting on them. We're waiting on you, the divine. Divine is waiting on you to get into alignment with, with all with what has already been prepared for you. So your divine masculine has been grooming you. And if you think about it, you are that's 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 sexy. A powerful, self-assured, self-possessed woman in her in her knowledge of who she is and, and able to be able to balance her masculine and her feminine energy, able to be soft and kind, yet fierce and stern when need be. You know what I mean? It's the same way God is. You know, God is love, but God is also fierce. God is also a God that can destroy, right? Because that's the balance. You know what I mean? Light and dark, that's the balance. And so that's very sexy and powerful. And that you weren't, you may have not been that person when you first met this person. 
You had to find that within yourself. But again, how could you find that? Could you find that if they did everything you wanted? If they acted like every other relationship that you had, would you be rest Would you be the woman? Would you be the person that you are right now if they had acted like every other relationship that you had? No. No. That's why you go through what you go through. Because you're being groomed and, and you've always been groomed. That's why you'll find that your divine masculine seems nonchalant. Is it really a not? Are they nonchalant or do they just have a knowing that you don't yet know of yet? You see, is it is it just a knowing? Because if you think about it, there were anxious attachment issues in the past. If you think about it, you did fly off the handle or major on the minors. You baby were paranoid or suspicious. All the things, we could go on and on, but that's not really the point, is it? To rehash and rehearse what we used to be. No, I'm simply trying to get you to open up your awareness just a little bit more. Open up those spiritual ears and hear that the universe is not your enemy. The universe is not your adversary. The universe supports you in everything you do. Even what you would call the enemy actually works for your good because all things work out for your good. You see what I'm saying? Because everything that you successfully, every lesson, every challenge that comes to you and you successfully navigate and through that by, by what? Choosing, doing what you want to do, what is best for you, choosing your happiness. When you do that, then you got the lesson and you can move on. Spirit doesn't even remember something that happened four seconds ago. If you got the lesson, we move right on. We're not, walk. Well, oh, wow, I remember I used to be like this. Oh, I remember 10 years ago or five years ago, I would have been like, you don't even have to do that. Spirit doesn't even remember. It's cast from the, in the sea of forgetfulness. That's just how present we need to be. So in this present moment, you need to understand that your divine masculine did not come to slay you like that, did not come to break you down and, 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 and make you go into a shell and say, I just, I just can't do that. I just, you know what? I, you know what? No, they, they are actually grooming you. And I want to tell many of you that are listening, you are looking amazing. If you are not speaking to them right now, you can just say, thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Because guess what? You're tapping into more of your spirit by dealing with them in the spirit. That's 5D, 6D, 7D, 8D, 9. There's so many dimensions, but you can talk to them in a higher dimension because in 3D, it's not, it's not popping, right? So get it right in the spirit. It happens right in the spirit. When you can communicate in the spirit, then, you, then the natural will begin to mirror that, okay? And if you think about it, you always, if those of you who have vivid imaginations and you used to talk to your person or your knight in shining armor in what you would call then your imagination, but you should know that is now, that was you in another dimension with that person of your dreams. That is this person. And in order to get that version of this person, we've got to get this version of you. We've got to get this version of you who can actually receive this person. Because here's the thing. The version of you that doesn't see this happening because the person is married or they got addictions or they got this, every obstacle you can imagine, that version of you is what you have in the 3D. It sees what, what you can't have. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? It is, it's seeing and it's saying what you can't have. My person does this. My person's got that going on. My person needs to heal from this and all that stuff. And that version of you is holding that version of them right there. And so they'll give you that. They'll give you that version and that version will just ride until you say, you say, I don't want that version of them. So what do you do? You either walk away, you block, you do whatever you want, but you choose to be different. You choose to do something different. Just that much of an adjustment is enough for you to get off of that timeline of seeing them as someone you can never have and remembering that there's someone that you always had. You've had this person in your imagination. You've had this dream relationship in your imagination. Now all God wants you to do is make that adjustment and believe. Believe it for yourself. Believe. Aaron is saying, you channel, you are speaking exactly what I'm experiencing. I channeled someone's child. Yeah. So that version of you needs to go away. How can it go away? Challenges, adverse, adversity, you know, breakups, whatever. But you, and, and it's not, this is not you deluding yourself. This is you manifesting 
Y'all, I want to I want to pray and I want to use light label said throw more court. It is so hard to speak in English right now, but I'm doing my very best. I just want to just go off, but I'm doing my very best to say this message before I begin to pray. Because when because once I pray, we we going up and we going out from here. Okay, but you have to um, understand that divine masculine. This was was sent to you, and they're grooming you, and they're grooming you to be a wife. Their wife, not just any wife, but their wife. They're grooming you, and you are also. This is you're like this. You're grooming one another. You actually are, because when you become your beautiful luminous self, when you get step into that empress goddess energy, when you step into that knowing and that confidence and that poise and that just that beauty. It gives them the motivation. To be the very best version of themselves as well, so that's why they say play the game. It's all a game, and this and you and this has already been mapped out for you. All you have to do is remember that you know. Remember that you know. Can you put in the chat to amplify this energy? Because I feel this thing rising. I don't know who all is feeling heat right now, but I feel the heat rising. It's in my kneecaps right now. That means some of y'all are about to move forward. Some of y'all needed to hear this because you're like, that. that's all you needed was this. You needed permission to love. And I'm not giving you permission. Spirit, your higher self is here with you right now. You can feel yourself. You feel yourself lifting to a higher dimension. But you have to have those spiritual ears to hear, which is what I'm going to be praying about, that you listen and obey, that you listen and remember. But put in the chat, I remember that I know. I remember that I know. I remember. And those of you who are trying to get your level of faith where it needs to be, put, I will remember that I know. Because I promise you, the only reason why I'm sitting here before you and you're listening to me right now is because I need to be the confirmation, the 3D confirmation telling you that you know this. This person has been with you since the beginning of time. This is the imaginary lover. This is your you, the the ideal partner. This is the one that when you were squeezing your pillow or your little teddy bear, this is the one. When some of you were writing letters to your to your love, you were writing letters. You never sent them, but you wrote letters to your person every night. Some of you put it under your pillow. Some of you kept a little like a box, a little a, I see a little wooden box and I also see a jewelry box with a little ballerina when you lift it up. You know, you might have put something in there, but I'm saying that you, this is the person that you wrote to. I know they don't look like what you imagine, but I promise you, if you tune into your heart, this is that they are grooming you. They are grooming you to be that person for them. And, and you are, you are grooming yourself to be the per that the person that you really are. And that's, and watch this. That's all you have to be. That's all you have to be. You just have to be your best self and then you'll be ready. When will it happen? When will they get a divorce? When will they come towards me? When will they call? When will they reach out? When will they change? When you decide to be you, the real you, consistently and not for anybody else, just for you. When you decide to live your truth, when you decide to leave the job, when you decide to leave the family home, when you decide to get the divorce, when you decide to tell that person, I can't do this anymore. When you decide that you are enough and you've had enough with, with, with all of it, not just this twin, but all of it. When you decide you're going to live your truth and be the real you and accept you. Thighs, make peace with your thighs, make peace with your neck and your back, neck, make peace with your feet, all of that. You make peace with yourself and see that if I didn't have anything else, I still have me. Even if you didn't have your children, because sometimes we get lost in that. We get lost in the things, the accoutrement. We get lost in that. But when you, when you get down to where it is nothing but you and spirit, which is you and your the real you, the eternal you. Because this body will go back to the dust. 
That's why you might as well love it because this is the one you came with. You chose this. So you might as well love it. It's a trick to not love your physical body. It's a trick to not love yourself. It's a trick to keep you feeling like you're not enough. And as long as you feel that way, you're going to be waiting. That's what divine timing is. When you realize, oh, this is what I need. Oh, this is what's happening. And then all of a sudden, things start happening. You can say something and you'll see it the very next hour or the very next day. Your divine masculine has been grooming you for this partnership since the beginning of time. Your divine masculine has been grooming you to be everything you want to be. And they do it in the, in the most painful of ways. Because through our pain, we get a lot of gains. It is that pain that makes us move. Everybody moves when they're in pain. When you're sitting in an uncomfortable position, or if you've ever been seated in an uncomfortable chair, when you move, you're always shifting your position. You know why? Because you're trying to get comfortable. You're trying to leave that pain behind. Some of you just leave the chair and stand up. I'd rather stand up. You know what I mean? But it's that pain that causes you to move. And so when you are in separation from your person, when you're not talking to your person, it is that painful feeling that we're trying to get away from that causes us to move right back together because there will be forgiveness because you can't get away from this. You can't. And some will say that, yes, you can. No, you can't. Because if you don't do it in the 3D, they'll still be with you in the spirit. Can you manifest another person in the meantime? Of course you can. You have free will. But why would you want to when you know that the key is you? All I have to do is be me. That how easy? That's easy. All you have to do is be you. That's all you have to do. And remember that you know. So what I want to do now is pray for our listening ears. Our physical ears that we hear what spirit is saying to us and we listen and we obey that we hear the messages that we receive the messages through a heart that is open i want to pray and i'm going to remove some stuff it's just going to be energetic exchange so what i need you to do right now is get yourself into a comfortable position and i'm going to i'm going to pray until i don't feel like praying until i feel the release and i'll say it and i'll guide you you don't your spirit knows what i'm saying so if I speak in English, that's because I'm telling you what I'm saying in the light language. But sometimes I don't even know what it is, but you can feel what it is. So what you need to do is just open up your spirit. That's all you need to do, okay? And breathe. Some of you will see visions. You will, you will, you will begin to feel like you're having a dream even though you are awake, right? Some of you will feel physical sensations in your body. If you start to itch, just know that you are releasing things that, know that you don't need. That means we're, we're aggravating some stuff that doesn't belong to you anymore. So if you feel like your skin is creepy crawly or anything, or like I said, itching, or if you feel like you know your eyes want to water, don't stop anything. Don't If you want to cry, you're purging. Release that. Some of y'all need to have a good cry because you're like, I'm not crying. One more tear over that. That's, that's, this is not the space for that. This is, this is not the room for that. This is the throne room. This is, where we, this is where we are changing because we know where we're headed. And a lot of you all are being prepared. I see you in the ante room, I'll call it. You're, I see your bridesmaids. Even if you don't want to have a wedding per se, I see spirits, angelic lights attending to you. They're attending to you as if you're Esther being prepared for the king. Okay? So you have angelic protection and you have angelic attendance around you. And they're doing things like helping you with your hair, you know, rubbing your temples, making sure you relax. That's what you do with a bride before she is it before she goes down the aisle. They they wait on you, okay? And so that's what I see. So if you need to weep, go ahead and weep. It's it's healing. If you need, if you feel angry, all of a sudden anger might come. And you know, just just feeling negative feelings, then take you a pillow. And you scream in that pillow. It's called a primal scream. That's actually that's actually a real thing. You don't like, but you scream. You scream in that pillow, okay? Because you don't want to scare the kids, all right? But I'm saying, if you feel that, don't block yourself. Or like we say, don't quench the spirit. Do whatever you need. Some of y'all feeling it now. Go ahead, primal screamers. Go ahead and let that scream out. Take your pillow and scream now while I get ready to pray. Lord, 
build that lekorusa da na da da and do it as many times as you need to. I heard somebody in the spirit just ask me, can I go get me some water? If you need to put a cup of water next to you, yes, go get you some water. Put it next to you. And some of y'all definitely need to get ready to cry because I feel that very strongly. You need to get ready to weep. But then there's others of you that are in a very calm state. Matter of fact, it feels very, very sacral chakra you know, very sensual. There's a very sensual. So you may even be feeling feelings that well up in you that feel very sexual. Go with it. Feel that. That could even be your divine masculine in the astral plane, you know, just letting you know, yes, I'm there. Remember, I told you that you deal with them in the spirit. You can have whole conversations with them in the spirit and then put some music on or watch television or, or talk to somebody and then you'll hear in the 3D what you already said to them in the spirit. See, a lot of things get worked out and we and we haven't been listening. We haven't been aware, but tonight you're going to be aware. You're welcome, Prophetic Empress. Bless you. But you're going to become aware. because So that's what I'm praying about, that your spiritual ears are so attuned to the wisdom around you and the, and the messages that come that you don't miss one more thing that you don't miss another thing that you don't miss because spirit is always speaking that's why you're on here now because spirit is speaking confirmations through me that you need so you can go okay great i'm not crazy okay i got it okay so those of you that are feeling very calm just receive this energy and send so much love you might you probably get a visitation from your dm okay but whatever you do, this last thing I'm going to say before I start is let your spirit be free. Do not hold back anything that you feel. You're safe. This is a safe space. I have done my protecting protection work before I got on here with you all. You're safe right now. And also, also, whatever's happening in your physical body. Pay attention to it. Become aware of it. This is about your listening ears and your spiritual eyes being open. Y'all ready? Here we go. Just breathe. Those of you are feeling activity in your back, especially if you something's crawling on your back, those I just saw that comment. But if you're feeling that, because I feel a resistance as well, it's in my back. That's fear. That's fear. And it's also resistance on your part. Open up. Just, it, just think this. I intend to love. I intend to love. Let me remove that. But it's resistance. I intend to love. I intend to love. Bottom of your feet, somebody's like tingling in the bottom of your feet, and that's good, that's good, that's energy. So they do the rising, they did it, but that's energy, the stagnant energy being broken up, even tingling in the bottom of your feet. But your feet represent the way you move through life, your feet represent movement, forward movements. It's a so see yourself moving forward. I see visions now. I see that somebody's eyes are opening. Many of your eyes are opening. And that's what a vision is. Those of you who are wondering, what's a vision? What's an open vision? There you are. Your left side is your feminine side. So if you're feeling anything, left side is feminine side, right side is masculine side. Right side is your hand of authority. Right side is where the prophecy or the, or the word 
what your vision is spoken and the left side is the vision coming to pass. So be mindful of what you're feeling on which side of your body. See, so that's what's being worked with. It's either your feminine energy on the left side or your masculine energy on the right side. Thank you, Carvita. All right, I feel it in my left side. And someone's ankle as well. And someone's ankle. Your ankles represent your flexibility. If you've had a broken ankle, specifically a broken left ankle, know that your feminine energy is being healed right now. From trauma, sexual trauma. That, that has paralyzed you. There's, there's there's some memories that are being dug up about that, that, that subconscious memories. You're not even aware of it, but you're being healed right now, especially if your left foot is tingling. That's definitely. The spirit is working on the left side of your body. The feminine energy is being worked with right now. Somebody's left cheek, your butt cheek is falling asleep. I'm not being funny. I'm being serious, serious. But again, that is that sexual trauma. Traumas that are, that are being healed. A lot about things that you don't even talk about, things that you have buried so deeply. It's subconscious. It's like your your brain protects you by letting you forget, and you're and so much grace is being given to you right now that you don't even know. But I see the healing coming. Right about now, it's up in your shoulder, sit at the collarbone area, left side of your neck. So tolo dota ma se toro bason da da ba. Right the left arm as well. Your left arm might be tingling. Sudo lo tebo, sudo lo tebo. Mita tu ma de da ni sto da ba si na ba. It's a nurturing coming back. Somebody might be feeling something in your left breast, especially those of you who had a cancer diagnosis or something in your left breast. It's about the way you nurture yourself. It's about your ability to nurture yourself. So your ability to nurture yourself is coming back right now. And that mothering energy is like surrounding you. It's swaddling you. That's what I'm seeing. It's a baby being swallowed, swallowed, swallowed. Yeah. Swaddled is what I wanted to say, but ah, yeah, told them. Somebody just had a vision. I'm not going to repeat what it is, but you you know what it is. I'll say it again. Baby's being swallowed. Some of y'all, that, that stigma, ah, yeah, is being removed. Shame is melting away. It's being peeled away right now. You might even feel tingling in your face right now. Like a mask, like a mask, a mud mask is being removed. I'm healing a lot of sexual trauma right now. I'm seeing it. Healing a lot of sexual trauma that has pain and shame attached to it. And I just keep hearing the stigma is being removed. The stigma, the judgment is being removed. The stigma, the judgment is being removed. You know why? Because you're being groomed. You're not going in this thing halfway. You're going in this thing whole. You're going into this hole. Your belly area. Solar plexus. Some of y'all might be feeling waves of nausea. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Is it all to go go nisto kaleta na so to dileta to kamasha? The waves of not of nausea is procrastination. Is all a natural liko to? I see it in your belly. It all a natural no kuto madasa. It's procrastination. It all look to mo tatina to lo masha da. The procrastination is rooted in fear and confusion. See to lo so so so. There's three things: fear, confusion, procrastination. Blow it out now. Breathe through it. 
release it. Tutu lo tode, you no longer have need of it. This version of you does not need it any longer. So ta no koto ro ta ma se ta ya ta ya ta ya to re ta ya to ya ta ya to ya ta ya to ya ta no ko la na sa to ikuto na breathe through it. Ichu tu lo kundo te cha cha no lo to sa kaka ni te talo no ko mata di cho ko ta na da ta ta. Some of y'all need to do what I'm doing. Take your right hand, put it on your belly, and take your left hand and just tap it. Tap it. What you're doing is you're stirring up your gifts. You're stirring up your gifts. You're awakening because this is an activating prayer. There's a vision that was to come. Some of you have been praying about your next thing. What do I do next? What do I do next? Close your eyes and you'll see it. You'll see it. Believe what you see, please. Some of y'all are going to see celebrities doing what you want to do. Make sure you mark this and write it down. Mark it and write it down. Open vision. You see it? You see it. Your guides are assuring me that you see it. But that's what you call an open vision. Now you realize that you've been doing this the whole time. Now you realize that you see how see how amazing you are. See how amazingly created that you are. All you have to do is remember that you already know. Stop tapping. All right, I'm praying for your ears now. Removing doubt and uncertainty. Doubt and uncertainty. You might feel your earlobe start to burn. Somebody might feel your your like deep within your ear, like you want to itch it. It's a it's a it's so deep you can't even get to it. That's where you feel it. Other but from you, it's your actual eardrum. Some of you, your right ear is is a it's a there's a tone like a a very low tone that's totally normal. Breathe through it. You're being your being your frequency is being fine tuned. I say the frequency is being fine-tuned. This is what I'm hearing. That from now on, you're going to hear when neg negativity is going to have a sound. The negative is going to have a frequency, a certain sound, and you're going to immediately begin to distinguish because th this is for those of you who can't distinguish when you're hearing God, when you're hearing yourself, or when you're hearing, you know, the, the enemy. So, so now your, your frequencies are being fine-tuned. Your ears are being fine-tuned. Some of y'all are going to hear like a cat or a wolf. You're going to have very, very sensitive ears. Your ears are going to get very, very sensitive. Just receive that heat. What they're showing me is that there's a connection between your ears and your solar plexus. From this moment forward, when you hear, when you hear what you need to hear, your solar plexus is going to react. Your solar plexus is going to react. You did that about it's like a it's like an engine at like a speedboat, because I'm hearing like a and it's going to make you move forward. You can feel the connection now. Receive that activation that you can feel it when it connects. 
Stola, that's what it looks like. Dikoro tota, dikoro po pianta se, katala roko dolo bo sieke. Oh, ni me asek de 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 ke, ropo po nyetia kala ya chani ke te lo koro, pa i ke te lo koro mata se ke, roto ro 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 randere de de basun tarabase. Randere de yo so tore beato, roma mama so kote beate, rote ke da la bo senere ra 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 yu ko ta ya, no mo no mo no mo no mo. No me a coma me na na morate na na bosende de de bora me ye ke ke. Raba ni da so so no koshan de 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 se ne de de bo ni anda de de. He wrote on ye ka 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 ni bo randa de yo so tora be a se. Koko ka ra ra de ando ro ro sende ya 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 yo. Ay 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 yo 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 ya ma yo so ya ya ko ya yo. Ay yo 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 ya ki mo ya yo ko ya mi yo yo ko ya ye. Il est donc au coya, 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 Oh yeah, yo, yeah, my yeah, say cholo yo, my keke all I ye. Oh yeah, yeah, yo, go ni ani 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 yo. Cause some of y'all need to close your eyes, close your eyes. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, say cholo ko ni ani. Oh yeah, my yeah, ko ni ani mosi a che. Oh yeah, mo ko ye, you know yo. Yeah, my yeah, ko ko ya ma say che yo. Eh, ko ni amo say che ani ko ka yo. Ko ni ale cholo cholo mes yo ko ya. Eh, oh yo ma yo ko ye ni dasi ano ko e chela ano ko sa ni tu ko le masi ani yo ko ko e ni ni. Eh, did you look at the number? You must sit here and go. No, to to me, I said, "Che, I grow dollar the most. So to the body, I need no pussy guy. No, kuku na be a no she me." Breathe. Yo yo no je cho yo cho ko so ni cha. Yo yo no yo cho cho liang che kla to mo bui bo stai. O ya no siye li ma kuko e a mo se che ni si ke no lo ko ma so. E ko ma ti che lo ko ma ti ko ma ti ko ma ti ko ma ti ko ma ti. Ko ma ti 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 ko ma ti. E cho lo ko ma ba te te no heart chakra. Some of y'all are belching or you feel like you want to belch. Let it go. Ko ti cha ni ko 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 cha cha le do ko 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 ni che ko lo ka 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 ni ko ko che ni che ko lo ko i ko ta le cho no ko cha cha le ko ni cha 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 le ko ni cha cha ko ka ni le ta ni so po ka ta se te ke ko ta la na ta se ko te na ma so ko 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 na le ba so to te na ka ke cho lo do ko sa ma se 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 ko sha sha ka no lo sha ma ne ka ya de. Resistance melt away, doubt and fears are melting away. Kela nyoto chana, anxiety is melting away. So che na 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 se ko da ba ye, che lo kong ko. Yi cha na na ba si ya da sugar addictions are melting away. Ebo ola san da se ko ka. Yi cha ne ko lo no no se ka na da ba sa fits of rage is melting away. Ko ti na la ko no lo so ta na ma stubbornness is melting away. Se cha na to ko ma ye ke ke no le se na. E ka ba che no ko na ma se unbelief is melting away. Yes, I love you. Don't stand there, boss. Sing the lock, Nama. You sit till you no come, Nama. Sit chair, chair, the lock. Don't sit there, chair, lock. Don't stand there, boss. Lock, Nama. Dead, dead, dead. Echo, no, 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 dead. Alias, no, 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 Oh, the mind. 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 Oh, the mind.
the tingling legs. the tingle in your legs. Somebody needs to get up and walk around. Just get up and walk around. She no more sent it so kuna de ba send de de borro and de ko ka. Rabe da ma de ka to roma de de ba ya no ma san de borro man de de borro ban de borro ka maya da robo sayana. We dealing with the resistance a rita da ma sa moving forward. The resistance of believing. Rabe da da borro me dio do mo so na ba de ka da borro ba se ne borro ko ne ma sa that this is real. We dealing with the doubt and the unbelief and the resistance to your connection right now. Se da bon de ko te ma si ko no ma se ka li ro chama to ro re ta na ti ka no bo so. E da borro man te da ba se na borro me te da borro me te na borro mo ba te na bo Lots of heat right now. Lots of heat right now. Selamon sita. Selamon sita. Ito lo ma se kato no mo re ma di se te. Just breathe deeply. Selo ma ye ke aru. Yelo lo lo po ye ka ya aru. Nyalo ro mo ya ye ke ro ro ba yo. Yoro ro ra se ne di o ka da ra ra re yo. Re ne re re yo sa ne re 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 yo sha ne re re yo se ne ya ye. Re ka da da bo ro sa ne re i ka ro ba so ndo ro ki. Ro 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 mo so ro e ke na na se ro ro sa na de ke. O ra ka ne re re i ka ro ma se ne re e she. A ro ko ra ma ne re re yo so to ro ba so ne. Kale ro 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 de ma se te re a ro ta ni ra ra ba ko ra ma se a e. So much heat. Hee, shalo ko ta ma ye ta lo ro 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 se di o lo ma yi ko na. So much heat, y'all. You tell her no more say, K. I told her more say, Ay, ay. Hi, I'm so tall, I'm more, yeah, yeah. Receive that heat. That's energy. Some of y'all Kundalini's activating even more. Now feel the love. Receive the love. Open up and receive the love. This is a safe space. This is love. This is what love feels like. There's healing in your hands. A lot of you are feeling a lot of healing in your hands. A lot of heat. Now take those same hot hands and place them on your body where you feel guided. Just trust yourself. Some of you will put them on your chest. Some of you will put them on your throat. Some of you are touching your lower back, your spine. Some of you are touching your thighs. Some of you are touching your womb. Some of you are touching your... But put the, some of you are touching your knees. But put those warm, hot hands on parts of your body and connect to your body. Connect to your body. Connect to your body. Your body wants to connect with you at all times. When you are connected in your body, you are grounded in your life. So your divine masculine is grooming you. Keep receiving the energy. The anointing is still flowing, but I'm still going. I'm still moving. I need to let no 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 
Anisole no se Pisces. Anisole no se. Anisole no se Pisces when you change your perspective. So will your divine counterpart. Remember, you're being groomed. The hangman represents a change of perspective. It also represents a sacrifice. Okay, you have sacrificed many days of joy and peace. And now spirit is saying, realize that this is always destined. This has been destined for you. And you're being groomed. You're being groomed. So you don't have to sacrifice your joy and your happiness and your peace one day longer, thinking that you might have been fooled and bamboozled. Let it go. Eight of Pentacles. Many of you becoming the subject matter expert on what you do for a living, what you do for life. Eight of Pentacles. Working on it, studying something, becoming proficient, becoming very good. It's like breathing. Some of you do things that's just like breathing. It's very natural to you. But Eight of Pentacles is you're already doing the thing. You're already doing the thing. Now continue to perfect it. Yes? Capricorn. No fear. There is no reason to have any fear, Capricorn. There is no reason to fear anything. No reason. No reason. Don't be so devil conscious. I ain't scared of no ghosts. Ain't thinking about no demons. Perfect love casts all out all fear. Have no fear. Negative thinking, toxic thinking is being dissolved right now. Look at that. Leo. Negative thinking, toxic thoughts are being dissolved right now. You have the victory. That's all you need to see. No reason to fear. Simply victory. Simply victory. Simply victory. Some of y'all, your reputations are have gone through the ringer. Now they're about to be redeemed your, or, or redeemed, restored. Thank you. Gemini Aquarius Libra. Oreta by new thoughts, new thoughts, new th a renewed mind, page of swords, a renewed mind, the beginnings of better outcomes. Eshonama for air signs, the beginnings of better outcomes. And if you're not an air sign, just know that your mind is getting better. Your mind, your mind, your thoughts, bright ideas are coming. Witty inventions. Some of you are going to get some very witty inventions, bright ideas that are going to be very lucrative very lucrative, very prosperous, put you in a position. Some of you are going to get paid for the brilliance of your mind. You're going to get paid for the brilliance of your mind. Put in the chat, my brilliance is going to pay me. Business consultants, get ready. Business coaches, get ready. Business, co you're, go you're, very, you're going to be very sought after. That's what I'm hearing. Sought after, sought after. Your ideas, your your coaching, your your consulting, sought after. Reta ma highly sought after. Istorobo ka nisiti no obos de la damo. Reta basanta. Eight of cups. Scorpio. When you walk away from things that you have no interest in any longer, your whole life is going to change. When you walk away from things that don't even spark your creativity or, or dazzle your emotions, it doesn't even stoke your emotions. It's just blah. When you walk away from these things, your whole life is going to change. Your creativity is going to come back. Your, your sexual desire is going to come back. Your passions are going to come back. I'm just hearing, leave it, walk away. 
leave it, walk away. I'm not talking about your twin flame. I'm talking about whatever it is that keeps you on this hamster wheel going around and around with the same old stuff. Leave it and walk away. You'll be better for it. King of Cups. You're emotionally mature enough. To, say your emotions are maturing. You're emotionally mature enough to leave it, leave things and walk away and know that you're going to be just fine. Reta Basa, if that's you put in the chat, please, just fine. Just fine. You the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's going to follow their heart and go towards their star. It's something about somebody sees you as a star or a celebrity. Somebody sees you as a bright light or somebody that shines. Lots of charisma. It's something that builds a lots of strong magnetism. It's something that builds rabbi deep in their thoughts and emotions about you. It's something about ten of swords. It's all the time I sit in on a book or the bus here, na da da. The end of mental anguish. The end of mental anguish. This is also leaving, leaving home, leaving. Leaving a belief system, a set of beliefs behind as well. Ten of Swords, air, air is here. Alistu nadama sayato. Ayatala, last card, hermit energy. Pray about it, meditate on it, reflect within. Yes, did it on Sanabalo, she ke, Virgo. Some of y'all need to make sure you go to your favorite spot sometime this week and just pray. You need to go to your favorite spot. This week, it's by the water. It's out. It's out. It's out. I heard by the sea, in the mountains, at the park, at the pool, on the bench, on the grass, by the trees, in the garden, at the at the antique shop, at the palace is what I'm hearing. At the diner, go to your favorite spot and just pray. Just connect with spirit. Remember, connect to your body. Connect to your body. And then you ground your life. I said, oh, no. All right. Bottom of the deck, three of wands, ready to move forward. Three of wands is about launching forward, branching out, go propelling, propelling forward. Somebody is being propelled right now. Fire sign, uh, not Capricorn, Aries, being propelled right now. Ooh, that energy is so good. How many of y'all can feel the peace? How many y'all can feel the peace? Yes. Thank you, Gabby, for the rose. Is that the rose challenge that you guys are sending those roses? The peace, right? Yeah. There's going to be a lot of peace. And so while you're in this position, let me give Gabby a card. I'm going to go. <laughs> romance, Gabby. There's your oracle. Prepare for romance. Prepare for romance. Yes. Zula Dana Masata. Thank you, Romy. Romy. I mean, Rolanda. Thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Prepare for romance. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. The energy is beautiful. Recovery, because there's a lot of healing that is taking place. That's for Rolanda. There will be a recovery of sight, of sound. Your heart is light. There should be some lightness. So I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna tamper with this uh, too much. <laughs> you saw all the light and colorful. Oh, good. How many of you guys had a open vision? You saw something. You saw you saw a vision. You're welcome. Happy birthday to you. Great. All right, make sure you write it down. Make sure you write the visions down. Right. How many of you guys feel better about your connection and you have more understanding? You're being groomed. You're being groomed. Thank you, Miss Gavin. This is the throne room. Thank you, CJ. But how many of you under, have an understanding now and, and, it, and you've shifted your perspective? Perspective. Good. That's, that's all... Remember, your superpower is love. Your superpower is love. And now when you see numbers, don't, don't, you know, your heart, your heart should be in a much better space to just feel a peace about it. It doesn't matter about timing. 
It doesn't matter about timing because you actually control that. More on that later, but you actually control that. But now when you see synchronicities or hear something that reminds you of that person, you because it's about getting out of the sorrow and the despair. That's what the hangman is about, changing your perspective. No more sorrow, no no more despair, knowing that there, there should be so much going on in your everyday life or, or on your everyday journey that you are not concerned that this is the thing that you can't have. Think about it. Make it make sense. So you can have a great job. You can have great friendships. Your family can heal. But, oh, that love of your life. No, nah, you can't have that. Think about it, right? It doesn't even make sense, right? Right. That's what that is. It's your number. So change your perspective and have some peace. And then use that, use that uh, love to fuel or power your relationship. This was good. I feel like good and woozy, so I know I'm going to sleep really well tonight, guys. I solo como sora boke cala anti ore balé coro tolo mare te china lo como satai ore tala tata su kuku na leta da da do rita da maleta da mosto toro corra tana de bise candala. Do you saw him today? And he ignored you. That's a need for prayer. If your divine masculine ignores you, then then God God wants to talk. Your higher self wants to give you some insight. This this that means you you need to steal away. That means you know when there's when there's a separation, no communication. That means that the higher realms want to talk to you. And as you as you do that, devote that time. masaya. Your divine masculine will talk to you also in the five D and beyond. And then in three D, you'll start to see. You'll get setoluta, setuluta, setuluta, setuluta. You'll get the communication that you want. But that's what that is. Remember, we're dealing with ourselves. So the divine masculine is the heart. So where are you ignoring someone that, that wants to wants your time and attention? All right. Asila dona. Asila dona. Asila dona. Your person touched your belly. Okay, so you had a visitation. Many of you had visitation um from you know from your from your person and they've been doing it for a long time, but you might have you might have explained it away because you just had to do that in order to so you wouldn't feel crazy. But I I I encourage you, feel feel the feels. Feel the feels. Real unconditional love is not about control or claiming anything or forcing anything. Real unconditional love is about liberation and freedom. And when they come back to you, they're yours. Okay? They're yours. They're, they've always been yours. So it's about the, the ebb and the flow. Okay? You can't lose something that, that uh, <laughs> I was going to say, you never had, but you can't lose something that's always with you. How are you going to lose yourself? It's about no kodana. It's just it's just a matter of it's degrees of awareness. Yeah. You're right. I shed a tear. Okay. Some of you Romy said she was led to the mirror to keep saying hi. It's like yourself, your higher self is saying, I'm here. I'm here. Some of you, if you went to look in the mirror right now, your face would probably you probably see your face change a little bit. Your face, you you'll see probably uh your ancestors in your face. As a matter of fact, if somebody is near their mirror now, could you go do that? If you go to your mirror now, you'll probably, you can, and because the, cause I see, I feel the anointing. So go ahead and do that and then come back and tell us what happened. You know, tell somebody so they'll, they, you know, they'll be encouraged. It's a faith. Bambi asks, what if her DM has an addiction? Then where do you have an addiction? Is it codependency? Is it addicted to knowing what they're doing? What, you know, is it sugar? Is it, you know, is it negativity? You know, whatever. I say that about, but if your DM has addiction, pray about that. That means that, you know, fear has gripped them. And because addictions come when we don't want to rise to our power. We, we become addicted to substances when we feel like we are powerless. So, do le ta kata do bo so ta na mahai. Isu tu lo bo kote ta na na mahai. Tilo. Atiklo do lo onoro undulo basi. Heavyweight lifted. Yes. Reta na ba unzi kile na shikada. Thank you, Vi. Rike tele no use ta ko o ko ko na le ata. I was thinking of the um DM with the addiction because, you know, um that's what that's what that is. That's what addictions do. They They help us escape, you know. They help us escape. Until we abuse the thing, then it then it turns into a, a weight. So you have to ask yourself, what are you escaping from? Where do you escape in your own life? Remember your, you know, 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 you know
gujanda li gida loko masata ayila no kosete yeno alichi no kotama you went to the mirror and smiled so hard they we are here we are together yes see thank you thank you rolanda in front of the mirror looking in the center of your fore forehead pulsated moments after yes that's a pineal gland activation, a third eye activation. A lot, a lot of, I see a lot of y'all's third eyes. I do. I can see it. Because I see all these eyes staring at me. And then I see one eye. L, yes, I can see your comments. Well, I see that one now. Write again so I can see you. Let me scroll down. All right, you guys. Oh. oh, you heard the snoring. That's my dog. That's not spiritual. <laughs> I heard the snoring. Yeah, that's my doggy. It's time to go to bed. Mm -hmm. I have three new beauty marks on my face that marks a triangle, makes a triangle. That's cool. <laughs> that's so cool. You still don't know it all, though, boy. All right, you guys. I think that's, I know that's all. I appreciate you guys. You saw a shadow around you when you looked in the mirror. Can you tell me why I'm getting a sudden pull towards them out of nowhere? That's the magnetic pull. Yeah, that's that's normal. Somebody tell L what the what the pull out of nowhere is. <laughs> Back towards your person. You welcome, Gabby. Rise, what do I feel for you? Love. <laughs> I feel love, 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 love. Kiki, get out of here with that. Tomorrow, the pool gets on my nerves. <laughs> that wasn't good on your nerves. A little my son, Doroko. Thank you, Eden. I appreciate you guys. I am a reta man, setelea no koya. Reta namo setelea neke danamo roko setena ya sandaya. Fast this upcoming week. Fast, meditate, and just stay prayed up. Yeah? Some of y'all are feeling the need to fast. Go ahead and fast. Some of y'all feeling the need to exercise. Get out and walk. Physically move your body. Dance or something, you know. The tears is purging. It's okay. Sometimes you don't cry out of sorrow or despair. You cry because you're just so doggone grateful. You know what I mean? I'm going to post this video over on my YouTube platform. It'll, it'll, I'll put it for some time in the morning. Um, I'm going to call it. Your, your DM is grooming you or they're grooming you or something like that. But yes, I'm going to post it on my other platform. I need to occur in my city. I know. A one month subscription. I have subscriptions. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bambi. The Bambi. I have subscriptions. Okay, I'll remember. I'm going to write a note to that and say something about that. I saw they did that, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bless you. He said, Majigo Darabari, Tenebe Asiki. Look at that. All right, you guys. I'm going to get off of here and appreciate you so much for being here until we meet again. Some of y'all need to drink some water. Drink some water. Take a nice bath if you, if you want to take a bath and further relax, but get some rest. Be gentle with your energy, okay? Be gentle with yourselves. Don't get on the phone with somebody that takes you there. Just be gentle with your energy. Carvita is always, bless you. On YouTube, I'm the Divine Maverick. It's my name, The Divine Maverick on YouTube. All my platforms are the same name, The Divine Maverick. And don't be fooled. I won't contact you. You know, that's those are scammers. The scammers are here. But um, if I got a name that somebody can uh, trust, maybe they need the money. I don't know. But I don't I don't worry about those kind of things. But thank you for reporting fake pages. Um, Carvita, thank you for be, being the best dog on moderator the side of glory. Um, and everything is in my bio. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I love doing that. I do have sessions this week, sessions available um, this week and I think next week. But then the last week of September, I'm going to just take a little time. Love you too, sweetie. Um, but you can see all that in my um, bio or you can order a video. And I got a, I got a, I'm not going to tell you. It's, it's something special I'm working on. It's going to be so good. 
and it'll be out this very, very soon. Um, but um, I have other videos that you can order if you don't have like you know time zone things that are really, really good. If you've ever ordered one of my videos for you, if you um, empower me or the past life reading, connect connecting the dots or um, help me fix my purpose driven life, you know, just career advice and stuff, then you know that my videos are very, very detailed. You can tell by the way I'm talking to you now. I just I like to I like to deliver messages. So that'll um, be something that can save you and, and hold you for a long time because it's not fluff. It's it's just chock full of information. So um yeah, Kiki, don't feel delusional. So y'all be encouraged. This thing is real. Let me be living proof and the others that you see in the chat that are commenting. We're we're real and we're really on this journey. And we're really in love with the most amazing. We're really, really connected to the most amazing love that we'll will ever know. And you and you have to believe that every single day you wake up, no matter what it looks like. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep believing. All right, Carvita, you listen to your last session? All right. I love you guys so much. Um, be gentle with your energy. Get some rest. Be still. Be easy. Be smooth. Be love. Good night.